Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey guys, Terry Cruz here, on Son of Beast here, as we are here for our next part of the game. And the moment you've been waiting for, it is finally 2024! Happy New Year everybody, as right at this moment, this is already beginning to look like it's a new year of 2K24. Yeah, and it's pretty true, and honestly, we're about to see what's going on here for 2024. 2023 was an exciting event, and I can't wait to have you here with us to have a, a star run to do it with our team. Well, here's how the thing is going to happen now. We are seeing a next team as we've got the Brooklyn Nets, and they were playing against the other team of the Phoenix Suns on the other side of the team. We have some couple players that have been gone from the other teams and now with the new teams instead. It's right in between from those two, from Washington Wizards and the other one of the LA Clippers. While Kevin Durant still play here with us, Chris Paul is not here with us, so he decided to make the change off with Stephen Curry. Well, in that case, there might be a one change off that we are about to be seeing. And just a couple of games coming up will be the Knicks versus the Warriors at the Garden. That will be the next part of the game to keep your eyes peeled on for the next game. In the meantime, let's have your starting groups. We have Spencer Dinwiddie, Cameron Thomas, McCall Bridges, Cameron Johnson, and Nicholas Claxton. The center of the tall man and guy toy position. We're just seeing what happens right now because if he gets another block, we're about to find out what happens. On the other side of the Phoenix Suns, we have Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Eric Gordon, Kevin Durant, and Joseph Nurkic. Now let's stand in by as the commentaries are up on the board. I have the next one here is Paintbrush, along with DJ Beast, and finally the third commentary of the crew is Ultra Beast. Well, let's find out how this goes. Enjoy the game, folks, and let's get going. Halftime coming up will be Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq O'Neal. Uh, and you look for it behind for the locker room as yeah. the players are ready to step on their way out. And this is a time where we see Brooklyn Nets and the Suns. Greetings, folks. It is Paintbrush along with my broadcasting partner of DJ Beast and Ultra Beast here at the Print Center and along with Ali LaForce. Here are your starting group of the matchups in between from the Zones 2 of the Eastern Conference and Western Conference. Key matchups in between of Spencer Dinwiddie and Devin Booker. Riley Beal is also with Thomas. Gordon is on McCall Bridges. Johnson on Durant. And Nurkic on Claxton. You know, I'm really excited to see what it is about. And maybe the part of the year is 2024. I'm betting that this one's going to be very excitable to have that matchup and ready for action. Well, this game, I'm thinking this one's going to be a fun one to enjoy this. So, let's prepare for the battle. Oh yeah, let's do it. Here are the starting groups right now for the Suns and the Nets. For our game ride, you feel by Gatorade. All field and ready to go. Gordon is on, on Dinwiddie. Gets first rejection of the night. For the rebound, and he takes it free for Beal on the outside. It's missed. Didn't win with the first rebound, and he has that first block of the game. Already got him way beyond the mark on that start run. And clocks it on Nurkic. Didn't win on Booker. Inside his zone, finds now the Bridges. Three pointer makes it in there on the outside after assisted by the other our player that goes with all that's Claxton. Well, you never know that Claxton was going to get there right into that point. They really are starting to make this one go high up and way beyond the mark. They really are starting to go over a bit. First foul has been called on Phoenix Suns. That will be Devin Booker. His first personal foul. First team foul. First trip to the free throw line will be Spencer Dinwiddie for Brooklyn Nets. Shooting two at the free throw line. Now, that hard drive is not really imperable. It's not impressed 
by anyone who is concerning of this, they really are trying to get away with that. You're never going to succeed at well if you were going to try to get that one over it, but Spencer Dinwiddie, he has a lot of coverage to take. First free throw misses. It's all what the target does, and you can't just realize after playing with the Mavs, he really wants to return to Brooklyn with the team. He missed it, everybody, but his bad feeling, Kyrie Irving, is not in it. That's a lot of a heart of a dedication to have all that it takes. Spencer Dinwiddie hits the second free throw. One out of two free throws for Brooklyn, and now Bradley Gill will have it all. He gives it up again to Booker. Looks to Ken to Nurkic. Fade the shot. Goes right to Gordon. Open look is Durant. Screen coming in for, for Gordon. Put a step around. Fade on around the shot. Goes in for Kevin Durant. He has his first bucket of the night, and that will be the first one for the Suns. They really are starting to make this one. Kevin Durant really got a good feeling of him all by himself. Like no problem at all with the, with the step in drive. Rebound it again. Pulls it up. Tries to look back to Johnson. Dinwiddie in the corner. Screen here on, on time. Bridges up. Lead layup drive is good. And we all see that this play comes inbound as the Brooklyn Nets extend by four. Gordon finds Beal in the pass. Good work by Eric Gordon. That will be the first bucket for Bradley Beal with under five minutes remaining. Now that set up with the key, this one's a lot and that's challenging. They really can't make that one feel like they're all over right now. They need to do something else out of that. Throwing in and out. That will be Gordon with the rebound now finds Booker. Bradley Beal right towards the corner. Looks down to Gordon. Over back to Devin Booker. Decided to go with the switch off. Six and a shot clock. Three for Kevin Durant. Gordon makes it in. That will be a first three pointer for her Gordon. And Booker with the assist. Had that lead up by one. Now they're really saying that this is all what Eric Gordon does. His pass attempt is really coming off. Oh, a big shot down on Kevin Durant. That will be his first block for the Suns. But as uh, City Thomas has the bucket in and it back up in front. Well, they're really going to have to get that way with that one here. You know, I never feel like they were going to be out here a while. Now Gordon swinging over to Durant. Durant over on John Johnson, and it's good. Kevin Durant receives his second bucket. After a block made with this attempt, he turned out like he's a high flyer on the run. Oh, yeah, he is. But well, make that clear, if you want to go that way, you've got to like take, make a change off. I really have to tell you now that he is like already on a hard move, taking, taking a lot of steps in between. That's what you really got to do to keep it right at your own target distance. Sadie Thomas has that second bucket down, and Nicholas Claxton with the six. Brooke Lynch up in the lead, passes off to Booker. Booker need a little change up here this time. He got gives over to Book Durant for three. Good outside. And it's Booker with the six. After coming up with the last game win against the Golden State Warriors, the B Booker team really had destroyed them all. All it turns out is full pressure. You know, the power of this one is really that intense. I must say this, it's all that comes out. Can't really tell them how they are really over it. All that takes is a lot of courtesy to get there. That's when they're going to get their thing done and possible. Yeah, it's much to say right now. It is really uh, tough to be on it. But let me tell you why. It's because of what the team really has to do. These folks really have gotten a lot of practices over again. And I'm not really kidding that they're really going to get right from here. However, if you wanted to get that change off, you just gotta make that one clear. It's a lot of our hard participants that are going to go and get over this one as they can. A lot of hard ones are gonna stay out of the way. New group substitution as the Phoenix Suns bring on with a new player and for the Nets. All five players are checked out as Smith Jr. 
and O'Neal finished Smith and Watford are checked in. One player had already made another change to ask by the style, Eubanks, and the other one for Okoji. Now that's a monster block. I just love that Eubanks just really got that close rejection here. Booker fighting again to buy it Stoke. Made it style right to Okoji. Shoots over in front of Elbow. It's good. And a two-pointer comes in for Josh Okoji. And with that last game, that puts for Drew Eubanks with two blocks and only three points. He's always that good. Make everyone feel proud if you can. Oh yeah, I guess that is a good thing. When you always call with Drew Eubanks, you just really have to like show him off how it does. That is a terrific one on this opportunity offense that they're going with. Here's my to Sayo. Overhead pass to Booker. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Allen drives with the shoot for two. It goes off the off the plug on the rim and it goes back over to Dinwiddie. Here's Dinwiddie on the outside, looking over in the middle. Goes another one, and the foul calls on Drew Eubanks. That'll be his first personal, second team foul for Phoenix. Stopping the clock at a minute and 45 to go in the first period. Spencer Dinwiddie, two shots. Free throw set in for Spencer Dinwiddie. And a second free throw will set in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Brooklyn trailing by two. Booker sends a pass to Allen. Play to Steyer, back to Booker. Puts a bounce pass, almost tipped away, but Okoji holds on. Play to Steyer with the cross. Almost lost that one. Eubanks goes around him, takes it over and under as Eubanks takes the layup. He has a first bucket in the game after Baez and Steyer with the assist. Smith Jr. on the other side and covered up by Booker. Wadford back again to Smith Jr. Looks to the alley -oop, and Sidney Smith does it again as it drops in, and that'll be the first assist to put it up for the alley -oop successful range for Brooklyn. Now, I'm not really kidding on what they are doing. They really want to go from corner to blank and range inbound. That goes to Dorian Finney Smith how he's going to get that way. When, when you get by, by a pass with the uh, alley oop success range, you just gotta make that one feel comfortable with that one. Three pointer makes it in for Booker! And it's another huge round as by the style with the assist. They were making that one feel like they're wearing it out. Oh, Vinny Smith slams that down. And that pass pushes up again for Smith Jr. And here's Booker with 30 seconds. He now finds Eubanks. Give it back to Booker. He now finds Okoji. Step in the range and by he's fouled. Royce O'Neal with his first personal foul and that will be the first team foul on Brooklyn. Shooting two will be coming up for Josh Okoji to take it this time for his first trip for the Suns at the free throw line. You're making that one feel like you're really on good strength. But I must say, Josh Okoji, you have a lot of it to make the respect out of them, but you've always got to make that one maintain to go with their percentage run. This is what the teams are getting get. They're really going to get a lot of the worthy credit if they can get, keep it going. First free throw misses for Gokoji. Coming in right now on the, on the core. It will be Little checking in for Bate Style. Allen was also checked in, it's awesome. Hits the second free throw. Houston Whitty with 20 seconds remaining. On a crossover inbound. Looks in the middle with the step back. Oh, Bernice! Oh, my! 
that's the biggest rejection ever. Oh, oh, oh wow. Ubay's going to really have to feel that one again. A coach with a buzz beer and he makes it in. That's how it ends up with the first period after Ubay's rejection. Yeah, he really is stepping his crowd. You've got to give credit to Nick, the Suns, already on a step run. We come to the end of the first quarter. 22 to 16 is your score. Second period will be coming up right after the break. Welcome back to Footprint Center. As right now, the Suns have already gotten a great extension run to start off with the first half of the game. But the big moment of this all turned out he is ultimately one of the biggest men of Drew Eubanks, who had two blocks in this game and turned out well terrific phase out there. They have been turning it out recently. I was always been just noticing what was going to happen like that. And I have to tell you now, he is already on the uh, dominant one to have that crush out. But this is not what everybody was consuming it because they were really up to a challenge. I must tell you this, this is not what everyone does. They gotta get this one playable and do it right. I know they've done the fact they were going to get uh, power, but you know about it. Starting groups are all skilled up and ready to go as Smith Jr. is on Bradley Beal. Then we have is Little on Johnson. Bridges is on cover by Kevin Durant. And Thompson is on Gordon. And Nicholas Claxton on Drew Ubex. That, that, that Cameron Thomas puts up a bucket and has six points in this game. 22 to 18 is the run, and so right now here's Bradley Beal. Fix it up or again to Gordon. Gordon does the pass to Beal over the round. And good D by Nicholas Claxton. Smith Jr. finding Bridges. He's all alone. And to KD with the deny that shot run. What a play. They know all to talking to Pruitt. You can never say to Kevin Durant. You've got to make that block out of him. That's what you're going to mess him up and do a big detox here. We have a report from Out of the Force as we have heard that Frank Vogel and his team have been really been dominating on this run. Just been turning out that great in between. But this is what we need to do to hustle, guys. We've got to get this one back in there. And this is what the long season comes in the weights. They really need to do something else here to try to make them stop proud and then do this one again. They've really been doing this one so many times that they are just lifting it and go back to do it again. So at this point, we'll find out what Frank Frankel has. Finn Vogel, we all have it all coming down. Kyle's been called on on Brooklyn as Smith Jr. has his first personal. That'll be another team foul for Brooklyn. Now, they're not going to make this one easy enough because you just don't want to try to reach and foul at the same time. That's what happens most of them. You can't try to get over this and you can't like win a whole thing. Not unless if you know how the rejection comes up. You have to stay focused. He hits the free throw. With a new substitution. That's right now we have is across from here, Batis Dio and Nurkic trailing in for Eubanks and Little. Bradley Beal with only one shot for the Phoenix Suns. Just 5 to 18 to go. And it will drop it in for a second. Timeout called by Brooklyn with only 5.18 remaining. They have already been just on a pursuit to try to keep the run scoring from here. Now, I'm not really crazy enough of how much they were doing this. They really are trying to like make them step up through. Just how much they're going to get doesn't mean that they all really can't get enough of that point. They really are trying to make that easier to hit that flow and the target range, which is hard to maintain it. We've got to figure this one out here, and that's what everyone does. They've been shooting it like they did. I have to tell you now that this is a lot hard when everybody does to get right into this. And then I'll tell you what. Everybody has been really been showing it off like that ever beyond by them. They really are trying to make us focus up very proud and ever. They've really been doing a lot of the teams to try to make the comeback switch and then go back in toward the floor. They really wanted to do this one all. Do you guys think that the Suns will be able to get back into this playoff game? Well, in that, in that case, if it's going to uh, take a lot of chances to do it, maybe so. 
Yeah, I would love to see them. They've really been on accomplishing. I'm thinking they deserve it to do it again. Some changes for the Brooklyn Nets as right now we go over to McCall Bridges. 22.3 was his point of this season and 29.2 was the last four games this season. After a trade-off from the from the Phoenix Suns. But they're glad enough for him to welcome him back for the visiting team of the night. Yeah, everybody's favorite right now. I just don't have to tell you now because of McCall Bridges. He was really been playing with this a long time and they were really been like all over for a sudden. But now his team, he's now refuses, he left the bus, and now he wants to be on a different team, like he always done on his best. Here's Vita Stio. Right with the fade shot. Give off to Bradley Beal. On the back step jumper. Good the range is in. Bradley Beal with his third bucket. 26 to 20 is the score as right now Smith Jr. has it covered. Free for Johnson. Way off the mark, another miss by Brooklyn as a rebound puts up by Bradley Beal. Here's Gordon right towards the other side. I have it over down to Durant. Beal wants to change things up here on offense. There's a bounce pass to Ben Style. Stepping it out, running over from Claxton. Good D by Claxton. He makes that stop on Vegas Style. On a fast break, McCall Bridges for three, misses it from outside. You're not really shooting a percentage out there. You just gotta need to try to like pick another look. B on the fast break chain, and Claxton, oh my. He's making another block out there to try to reject that shot. Mm, tough when you always can't just realize you can't win a whole thing. Play to stay up for the free throw line. Misses again, another miss by Phoenix Suns. They're not just shooting excellent right at this moment because of what happens in the last game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Sacramento Kings has been on proud right now. They're trying to get that one over it. Cameron Johnson hits a number three and now back again to Eric Gordon. Gordon back steps the pedal, now finds Bia. Bia swings off to Gordon. Gordon has to go back to Bia. Now to Bajestayo, around the net. Hold it, stop. Hold it back again to Gordon. Free for Durant. Good! The outside is swooshed in. Mr. Durant with 10. And an extension up by 6. Oh man, you gotta say that Kevin Durant's on fire now. He's back in again and says, no worry, I'm not alone. Here's Smith Jr. and Johnson tries it again for another 3. This time, it's Claxton with the rebound. Free for Thompson. That misses again. Nurkic with a rebound with only three rebounds in a row. And Bradley Beal on the other side. Pass is over to Gordon. Bounce pass to Nurkic. Fades a shot. Back to Beal. Just down six on the shot clock. Dio. Durant for number three. points and stay now if under two minutes remaining he's just can't believe him you just can't get rid of Kevin Durant he's like a legend he just made another three that time and says I'll keep shooting again and he knows he's been practicing a lot what a great cover for him here's Gordon on the outside we'll have to give it back to Bia and Bia on the switch off range to Gordon over with the two the long range inbound was missed off as Thomas with the rebound. Here's Smith for the three. Good outside range, and this one comes back down. 32 to 26 to score. Timeout on Phoenix Suns. With under 90 seconds remaining in the first half. They're making us feel like they really wanted to make pick it up and over. They really want to get this thing started right down. And they really can't get away with that one. Right above it. Coming up later will be the halftime show. As right now is with Kevin Harlan. As we all will be seeing Kenny Gajet Smith and Shaq O'Neal right on the sideline for the first half of the game. It's been on a close run so far, but hopefully enough, Drew Banks might figure it out if he can go for three with Kevin Durant.
We may never know what's going to happen with that one in that case. Do you guys think this will be the next one to hit the blocks out there? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe this might be a one choice that is going to happen with that one. It's what nobody really wants. I must say is, what is the difference in between of getting a free pointers and getting the blocks and in between? You, you may never know what's going to be like this. Maybe I want to see how it's done. Maybe they want it that time? I don't know. <laughs> Man, uh, well, we hope to say now this comes out, they might be changing it up their bid. New substitution coming in for the Mets and for the Suns. As Booker's checked back in. Also a Josh Dekoji as well. Royce Udino, Vinny Smith, Wadford, and Tim Whittier check back in. Back again with three players in, and three players out as players tie up is out, and Allen's checked back in. Here's Booker right towards the right wing. Going for a shoot from the elbow range is missed off the target. City Thomas right on with another rebound. And O'Neal, nobody around. Take it away, and it's Booker with the rebound. Number two in the season. A lot of free throws are coming in that big. And a scoop! My, oh my! That Josh Akoji makes that drive there so sweet. <laughs> sweet ever. Make that motion that seem harmless. Not, but that turned to be like his favorite. On the outside is Dinwiddie. He looks to Thomas for three. Misses on the outside of the range. Nurkic give off to Booker. 30 seconds in the first half of the game. Booker give off to Durant. Durant swings off to Booker. Look on over to Okoji. Nurkic. Lost the ball. Holds back tight as Durant gets back to Allen. Allen step back over O'Neal. It's good. Gary Allen has got, got that one with another group. Good look open. Grayson Allen with the two point bucket score. Pushing in. Spin Dinwiddie. Well, with the floater. Misses. And that ends the first half. 36 and 26. They are up by 10. Great play in this half quarter. We'll take a quick break when we come back after this. All you. In the meantime, let's check out what the first half is. Unfortunately, it took a little longer than expected, but as you may never know, we'll get right to the point. Let's start with you, Terry Cruz, with the Suns. They've always been on a fire legendary to make that one feel like they're on comfortable range. They might be switching things up over and under. They're just trying to make that one feel good. They're trying to get back into the lead as possible. And now with your take piece for the Brooklyn Nets. Well, they need to keep on going on that hard. They've been like coming back into the into the game. They wanted to get and make a close range and bound. But promise them, they just have to do this one all the time. They've got to do it. And that's pretty much it right now. We'll see them again then for the next game. Time to head back on down to Paintbrush along with the commentaries. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in, we welcome you back in Phoenix. As right now, they are starting to wrap this up for the first half, getting ready to start the third quarter. All eyes on Katie. That's the main man that he has gotten great at it. 13 points, one rebound, and six. It's all lucky for him. His gross rule credit has been like already taken bounty, and I just mainly have to tell you that Kevin Durant is really a, like an excellent star. They're making him feel like that they want to improve it. Oh, McCall Bridges, Bridges from reverse had that good pass out there. That would be my Dinwiddie. I have never seen him with this uh, good a pass like that. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how they're doing it. We have a report from Allie LaFleur that says we only have noticed the Brooklyn team are making a lot of new stuff to make the change off. They have to go back into the offensive work run. When they do this one on their own, they have to do themselves a favor. They can't be leaving them out, and they are just going to make that one feel like that they are going to be over the limit to try to keep them out. This tough range is not enough to make the optional work. Well, they must be doing this one all the time. They're trying to get this one over and under. They have to do this one here on the play scrimmage here to go with their run. 
And that's what everyone does. Go over it again and just go back into the flow. That's what the key is. They need to make that successful in order to keep that running, run the team. And this is what they have to do to try to stay safe. Gotta make it possible. Hooker back again to Beal. Beal trying to push around Dinwiddie. And that defender got him that time. On the other hand is McCall Bridges and Thomas with the rebound. Looks from the left, finds Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie on Hooker with a three. Missed off the range. Dinwiddie back. Rolls in and out. That's Nurkic with his seventh rebound of the night. Goes back to Booker. Oh, he's been like a great at defensive rebound. He's been already been going over it in just a lot of insane time. I don't know what to tell you about this one, but this is not what I was expecting to see to cover. Rolls in the bounds on the baseline, and it goes the other way by the Suns. McCall Bridges has the best career this season with this point. 23.1 was a new score to beat. Already had that one down and ready for more. Make that action feel like he's a flyable to make that one successful. McCall Bridges has been really looking it up. The average of him just really keep on coming. He bounced past to Booker. Booker spades away, does it again. He misses off that target. Why? McCall Bridges with the rebound with under five minutes remaining. Dinwiddie outside. Oh man, he's got gut cash in. They're back down by seven. Let's not forget about one of the players in this defense. They wanted to close that out. Not their choice to be here. They don't want that. Durant finding now to Beal. Beal swings again to Durant. Bounce pass to Nurkic. Over again. Good D, and that puts up a stop on Claxton. Claxton receiving another rebound in this one, and he goes, decides to do it again. Here's Johnson, and Dinwiddie for three. Misses! With a good rebound by Gordon. Now back to Nurkic. He back to Gordon, and Durant on the outside. Looks now to Gordon. Gordon in the corner, now finding again, back to Durant. Want to switch things up again. Looks to Booker. Beal over a ball. Rolls in and out. Another stop by McCall Bridges on the lockdown defense. As Bradley Beal only had six. Missing so many of them to kind of make a stop run. And look at that play motion. That McCall Bridges slams down. They're coming back in to go right from here. Oh, I need nothing to say about that. They're just really are trying to like slam it. They're killing it over the pressure right now on the offensive run. They just really gotta like stop that. I don't know what to tell you now, but this is like no way, uh-uh. You don't want that one coming in your way. That is harsh. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you part by Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Storylines. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. Just been enjoying here for the night. If you're in the West Coast, the new episode is about to be happening here for the BFDI and in Anime Insane Invitational will be next month in February for the season finale of the episode of season three as they wrap it along with the last one left. Yeah, the remaining is always that took the final freeze are Silver Spoon, Bandit's Balloon, and across of it, I always know to call Cabby. Here's how they do with the big man as Kevin Durant has 95.3 free throws percentage. He's been really off to a great target run. He has been only the man himself to try to leave it off big here. I never say never, but they were really have been showing things off. I know that it was really that, that close call. They were really been showing it off. I never seen when it goes like this. Because Kevin Durant, he's on a smoke out run. They deserve to keep him. They just really need him on signs like this. And a good put back in bound as 
Thomas, and now Cameron Johnson with a number two. Back down by three. Booker give off to Beal. Gordon in the corner. Looks it now over to Booker. Making new changes here. Bounce pass to Eubanks. Eubanks around again. It's good. True Eubanks. A number two has gotten the second bucket of the night. And just like what Drew Eubanks does, I just don't believe it. Whoa! Coxton, hold on tight. He's going to be a one fumble, one throw down. And Gordon looks it again. Layup stopped again. Nice D on Brooklyn. Dinwiddie on a fast break. Pass to Johnson. And a foul's been called on Kevin Durant. That'll be his first personal. And another team foul will be a lift off on Phoenix. Just about 2.24 to go in the third period. Looking to get a close game. This is not what everyone does. I don't know what to tell you now, but it looks like the Kevin Johnson may go for an hour one. Another free throw coming up here for the Brooklyn Nets as they are doing another free throw range from the line shooting two. Hits the first free throw. Now this is not what everyone was saying that Cameron Johnson has been playing here for the Suns as we go from flashback. He really has been like all shown up. It's motionless, maybe the hard thing. But don't get an uncomfortable one because you can't stop him how Johnson does. And yeah, I was actually just saying that Cameron Johnson was really like going on respect. Motion behaviors are just not the crazy thing to go with. All it does happen now, they have been really off heavy target motion. I just can't really tell you that this one keeps high off the mark. They are really on to a full run to take them down. And that puts up in the run. I just can't tell you now. Spencer Dinwiddie, he's on a smoke out. Here's the here's an out for Booker as Gordon gives it back to Booker. Over Dinwiddie. Reach is short. Now back to Dinwiddie. Under two minutes remaining, and then try to give it up again. Ooh, base! Three blocks in a row! Says it's the nine. Goes down to Ubanks and now Booker over two, three, over three. Rolling in and out. They're just going to make the need something else out there. Instead of doing threes, they just need to some, do something else. Here's another look. Two for O'Neal. Good! The range is cut up by three. As O'Neal has that one with the bucket score on their field goal attempts. Really are stepping it into this now. They have to do it later now. Dinwiddie on Booker, here's another one, and Durant comes back in to deny that shot. Beal over to Booker, here's Durant, taking a launch, he's good! Booker, he saw that Durant just want to tie that game up. Really, you never show what Kevin Durant does? I gotta tell you, they are not gonna make that felt like they're uncomfortable. They just need that help. The two-pointer makes a wraparound for McCall Bridges as Spencer Dinwiddie makes the assist. And now Durant comes back in. Gives the pass to Gordon. Booker in the corner. Looks down to Gordon and now give it back again to Durant. Gordon want to make another change here. Shot clock winding down to six. Rio finds it over to Ubanks. Shot killed the bucket of one. Ubanks already been showing up on fire in this, and they are tying this game up. Ubanks what a delivered night for him to get into the lead toward the free throw. Oh well. I just about to tell you that Drew Rubanks has been really lifting it up, popping strong. New substitution coming in as Garrett Allen and, Dur and Little are checked in for Booker and Beal. He will only take one this time, and most of them will keep it up for an even run. Here's O'Neal. Looks like he might do it again. Not this time, he said. Finney Smith, nobody looking. 
And that will take it over as Durant gives it off. Passes across to Little. Tries to lift with a buzz beater. Owen! Give off to Ubangs for the buzz beater! And hold it! Hold that spot! That game is not going to end down for the Phoenix Suns as they are back up by two. Leading a big time here with the block of Durant and Ubangs. Listen up, jokes. We've got covered the work to do. Really felt strong. Muscle out. Fourth quarter is coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And I'm over now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now, this is what I really have to tell you now. This is a lot of aggressiveness that they were really up to a huddle. Give off that quickly over again and then just give it an over and right now to a, another open player on the outer side of his offense. That gets a good pass. They really are stepping in big. I have to agree with them. They're doing a lot much harder. And the worker pays off. We hope you enjoyed this one and we are down to the last quarter remaining. Allen and the teams have it up by two as the Koji will finish up the group presented by Caterade. Durant's on with him now, as he now he has it with Allen. And the other side from here, we have a Spencer Dinwiddie. Leaving an open gap, we have it across his Claxton. And right here and there, we have, here is Royce O'Neal. The two-pointer lifts off the mark. Now with Nurkic with the ball, he will give it up to Allen. Allen gives the pass back to Durant. Durant pops it back over again to Allen. Screen coming for Nurkic. And a cutting bounce takes it from here. A good setup pick for the Phoenix Suns as Ger Garrett Allen has four points. And this will cause the Suns foul for the reach as Josh Okoji has his first personal. Number team foul for Phoenix. And Tyler Booker will come in for Kevin Durant as the load changes come up to appear. They're really making this one a lot harder. I just really tell you that Kevin Durant, he's been excellent. A domination, really can't miss out on him. He's the best. Suns up by four. Booker, step back, now find Little. Little want to give it back to Booker. Booker, in the middle, sucked it down as Booker has five points. How that two in range look for an open target. This is like coming down here big. I mean, not a choice optional. I just really never saw that coming. Denied by Nurkic. Good block in the alley oop and Little on his way. Scores. Little has his first bucket here, and they are finally extending the run. Now Dinwiddie will have his chance to get back in. Dinwiddie spins the move. Rejected by Nurkic! What a block! And another man comes in to slam out out! Without DeAndre Aiden, he's been blocking here! Oh yeah, oh <laughs> my goodness. I never seen what was gonna happen like that. But let me say that Nurkic was like, we're checking it over again. Not a choice option. You never mess up with a defender like this. Now the pass to Buxton. Give off to Dinwiddie. In the middle, looking over. O'Neal, corner shot, no good. As a Royce O'Neal and Claxton with the rebound puts up in the layup drive, putting it back in. And Booker will have his possession. He's been only scoring for one of his points here with only five of them, but none of them will remain in between for the assist and field goal assessments. Now Little brings back to Booker. 4.35 left to remain in the fourth quarter. It's down to five on the shot clock. Bradley Beal loses it and takes it away as Claxton has it over. Thomas on the inbound. Breaches on an open look. Misses again. Oh man, it looks like that the, their tired defensive bit are just like pushing hard. They're really getting away with this. He finds a bounce pass and Booker, look at this motion. That range has been turning to be Bradley Beal's assist. Nobody saw that coming. They really have made that dimensionable, and they're making that run like easy enough. No way you can't stop us now. 
they make it feel like they are on the run. Telling you, unsuccessful Ranger Slater gets off the pier. Here he comes! Throw it down! That's what Bradley Beal does. In this throwdown situation, he just gotta show him off. That's when you know that you put a revenge on Claxton and you show him how it's done. Brooklyn trailing by 10. With the screen left, finds O'Neill. O'Neill on the run, finds Dinwiddie. On a free. Misses the target outside as Booker hits another rebound. This time he is receiving a lot of his major careers. Past four rebounds in this game. Little on the outside. Will now spin it over again to Eric Gordon. Here's another one for a little. Pino outside for three. Good and not in. That was a close call. I think he was going to make it at that point. And a foul count the bucket and one for, for another McCall drive. Eric Gordon with the foul. And now this will change it over to with another free throw coming up for Brooklyn Nets. Boys on yes, checked out as Cameron Johnson checked back in. And also for the Phoenix Suns, Littles checked out. And then stepping back in is KD. One shot coming up for McCall Bridges with under three minutes remaining. Now, it's not the important guy that McCall Bridges has been really like stepping it over. This wasn't really like a day. Day after night, he'd been like shooting all day. Not really what everybody calls for. They were just kicking gas in, cooking and lighting it up like they did. And here's Booker. He has it now finding Nurkic. Get back to Booker now finding Gordon. Swings off to Durant. Durant swings over to Booker. No angle breaking on that inbound. It would have been easy enough. Bill and free for Gordon. Hit off the rim, goes in and out. And Claxton with the rebound. 2.30 left to remain in the fourth quarter. Looks for more. Good pass as Thomas has that an inbound. Spencer yeah, Spencer Dean with is putting on a lot of his major runs. Here comes Booker. Layup inside. No slam and no foul called on Brooklyn. And it looks like that Booker has that lead up over on Spencer Dinwiddie. Misses again. This is not how it's happening like this because the ugly comparison at this point has been knocking over and under. That's going to be like out of here. Just no way to get this one right then straight because that is a lot hard. And they are trying to make that respection out of it. Not a choice to use the option. Gordon pass to Nurkic around him. It's blocked. Claxton with four blocks in this game. Receiving to get five blocks if he gets it down. Bridges fights Johnson. Bridges for three. Good! Way beyond the mark. Back down by four and Gordon has it right away. We're under 90 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Now back to Gordon, give off to Beal. Tries to go right with the switch. Gordon, give back to Beal. Here's another one, Booker for three. Good! Mario, my, the Swiss connects in with that shot. Booker, the splashdown. You never you say that moment right now because of Devin Booker. He's been really been heating up for a night. He's been lifting it and going big. I just really have never seen it like this one before because you know that Devin Booker was really kicking the three. He's kicking it off with gas at this point. Whenever you feel like you want to give him up, you just gotta feel like you want to like show him who's the boss. That's really like a prove of all night. On this range motion, they've got to make it go big and just show it what's done. We are almost done with the end of the game as we will have the next quarter of this range for the next game coming up for the NBA 2K24 matchups. We have another Texas showdown for another good look as we have finally have made the Rahanga object show, but we have another one in Dallas for you. They are making things up and right around it as we see the Mavs facing against the Rockets of the showdown in between Houston and Dallas. That will be the next game here happening here on Thursday night. 
to make sure you catch us in here for, uh, right around the corner to show them how we goes. And now to present your new balance player of the game, Katie. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has been like already on the fire inbound, and when you gotta give him a good call, you you gotta make that one feel like he's already improving it. A player inbound just like he did. Yes it is. Just to say that Kevin Durant is already like a fa fabulous favorite. They all appreciate him. Here's Breaches for three. Misses again. And Gordy back the other way. We'll give off to Nurkic. Now speaks back to Durant. Crossover back to Booker. Booker swings the peel. Looks like finding over to Durant. Looking for more room. Oh, he made it in that time. Durant, an unbelievable run out and put a drive on that run. That pressure is going to be like taking it over again. We really got to like show this one. He's on the 20 run. Get out of here. McCall Bridges with a number two. 64-57 is the score. Down to 35 seconds. Give off to Beal. We'll swing back to Booker. Booker, oh, not a big angle breaking this time. Stays out, now finds Gordon. He goes down to Durant, now finds Booker. On a two, mount, and take it from here. He hits another two point range. That's 14 points. Really been showing like he was already like keeping an eyes on the pride, but they're really like crushing P. Intentional foul will be called on Spencer Dinwiddie with under 10 seconds remaining. Claxton and Dinwiddie are checked out as Wackburn and Smith Jr. are checked in. The Suns are also making new changes here. And Basu Banks is back on the court. Lost that ball. Didn't see that going. Free for Thomas. Misses! That is it! Your final score tonight is 66 to 60. The Suns are the better team in the Western Conference, beating out the Eastern Conference of the team. You all can't make the mistake out there. You just have to improve them to show how it's done. Every team you do, you gotta make it clear to make a big win victory. Go home and celebrate. Well, that's going to do it for you. Well, along with Paint Brush and DJ Beast and Ultra Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you have a great new year, and we will see you all for the next game. Adios, everybody. All right, sir. Thank you so much there, Paint Brushes. Right now, we have the team comparison right between the two of the Ion technology to find out the statistic score runs on board. Make an impressive run. Suns are always the biggest team and they were ever seen it before. I never seen what was gonna happen like that. But all this may say this right now it has been keeping it big, longer, and gettable. Here's a total combination as right now, field goals percentage was 53 and 64 three-pointers for the Phoenix Suns. 86 free throws over 50 for Brooklyn Nets. Fast break points was only 10, and 26 was points in the paint, along with the second chance points for the Nets. But the bench points was turning out, going right from bottom to top, for 21 of Phoenix Suns and 25 assists on the setup. 11 defensive rebounds got great for Brooklyn Nets. They're really trying to make that one clear. But they really need to see what else they've got. Defensive rebounds is putting up by 27 for Phoenix Suns. Taken away from it big was only six steals for Brooklyn Nets and eight blocks. My goodness. I must say that it looks like Ubanks, Nurkic, and Durant are exploding big here. They've been really been blocking over it tonight. I do indeed. Three turnovers for Brooklyn Nets, 14 fouls for Brooklyn, five dunks performed, and the biggest lead was 10 for Phoenix and 16-28 was their time possession. Just only two timeouts to remain here. Now it's time to present your three star players of the game. Take it away, Terry. All right, thank you so much. Third star of the game, always have to improve them out. 
But why in the world would you have to go with that? Well, let's start here. First up is a one and ultimate amazing career to take all of them from instead. It goes for Cameron Johnson with a block. He had it finally redumped it himself with two steals, two assists, three rebounds, ten points. Oh, but he just made that one there. Good. Three out of nine field goals were made and two three-pointers were made. And only 15 performance run. Now to you, Senate Beast, for number two. Number two, always again to make that one feel good. It goes to Drew Ubanks, who had gotten three blocks in this game. The last game was two blocks, but this time he hits three. And 10 performance run, two rebounds, eight points. That's, that doesn't mean he's, he's amazing, but he's also amazed on the defensive setup. Look at this here. Whenever you call for, you have to make that one connected. That turns out big. One block on the, on the setup to go over it from here, then two, and finally three. My, he's that good and fantastic. Now for number one. This one all does turn out, it's everybody's favorite, Kevin Durant, your New Balance player of the game. He also made three blocks in this game. Two assists on the run, three, three rebounds, and 20 points. Only had 8 out of 9 field goal percentage and 4 3-pointers. Everybody's favorite. Really been showing it off like this, but always making proud to have him welcome back. Live here in the visiting side at Barclay Center. And only 24 performance run was the best to be. So that will be it for the end of this game. I hope everybody's enjoying your new year. Finally, it's 2024. And we'll see how the next game goes, as you will see them pretty soon. And if you'd like to see some more videos, check out the playlist here on the calling card. For the, that will take you to the NBA, NBA 2K Sports season in between for the two. As we see them right up ahead on the Instant Bound. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in for the NBA 2K Sports. I am Son of Beast, and along with Terry Cruz, peace out folks for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial. Follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to my about page. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're going to have tons of more NBA coverage, especially NHL, the rival week. Yeah, that's right. We're adding it for a new this year in 2024. Our first time ever to check out the teams with their rival statistic runs right in between of each game. So you will find out who they are, and that will be the next one right towards its goal line. And improve it all, then you can bet. Have a wonderful evening in the Valley of Phoenix and Brooklyn Knights. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.